certainly didn't waste any time. Yeah, they want. See? They want it now? I'm usually right about these things. Chief Uzuki, here's the data you requested. Will that be all? Damn, you guys work fast. Thanks. Well, you can read this that? This should be good enough. Okay. So, we're giving them information about Kosovo? I'll take care of the rest. What's she the Trump against? That is a short skirt. God. <laughs> she loves her legs. Loves to show them off, doesn't she? There's no way that's regulation. Um, Chief, do you have a second? Yes. The military is expecting actual field data for Cosmos. You want to boot her is up? Is it right for us to keep giving them simulated data like this? The world yeah. collapsed on her. I must admit, you got me there. But honestly, if it were up to me, I'd keep her here, safe in her dream world, forever. But why are you so afraid to put her to real work when you push her so hard in the simulations? I can't wait to see Cosmos up and completely functional. Couldn't you at least try taking her up to phase three? That should be no problem for her by now. Phase three in a simulated battle config? Come uh, on. This We're means not nothing about to me. wake our little princess for that. Here's a summary of Cosmos' main equipment from the second division. This should help you with the guys upstairs. Thanks. I'm sure it will. So, we have to give them pretty much information on everything that's happened with Cosmos. By the way, Chief, what did you think of the MWS and the AGWS? Uh, I, I guess people were saying that I was pronouncing the, what I assume is eggs wrong. Uh, so, I, I'll just say AGWS. I'll, I'll, I'll try to say that until somebody else says it. But, you know, if memory serves me correctly, they just say eggs, which is weird. It's just dummy data created inside the encephalon, but it was pretty exciting stuff, wasn't it? If neither had problems during this test, all that remains are the functionality tests using actual models. It worked pretty well. The MWS in particular felt right to me. I sense something contrived in that, though. The MWS, I don't think actually has an, an pronounceable name, so I just go with MWS. That is the giant orange thing that, that Xion was using to attack. Uh, it, it's well I, I, it, it, they're implying here that it's a prototype that's not actually real I guess you could say well I hear Miyuki is closely involved with the MWS I'm sure she's up to something again Miyuki is Xion's friend that's that's as far as I know about that oh by the way could you send the connection gear data to headquarters for me you know the vaporizer plugin that we use to destroy obstacles yeah that thing was awesome I wonder if they're also going to manufacture it based on our test data. So what they're saying here is that this research division, on top of trying to develop Cosmos, is also battle testing, simulated battle testing, all these different weapon systems and accessories, and t t t to see if they're viable in a real battle. And so they have to send that data over as well. I swear, they pile everything they can on us under the pretext of testing Cosmos. I and mean, like I said, they're just giving it to them. Well, it's inevitable, considering they have a lot of other concerns, like the budget. Give it to those guys. It's cheap. And now we are in control of Xion in the real world. Woo! How you doing, Alan? Better hurry. Now I can take all the time I want. Trust me. Okay. What's up, John Bell? Okay. Yeah, the... Mi the machine's only as good as the goals, right? Perhaps Cosmos would be happiest if she was able to demonstrate her full capabilities? She does not have emotions. She, she's an android. She will never be happy. It's not part of her programming. How you doing, Tagashi? Jarheads? Isn't that American slang only? Marines? Crap, I'm gonna I'm gonna get in trouble if it's not Marines. It's either Marines or Army. I'm pretty sure it's Marines. It's like Leathernecks and Jarheads. Ah god, it's gonna bug me. No, Jarheads is Army? Yeah, that's gonna bug me. 
Researcher. <laughs> I will not remember your name, Researcher. Is there any items you didn't get last time? Right. I will actually go back in. I know it sounds crazy, right? Um, we're we're going to go back in. He said in case I missed an item. I did not miss an item. That's not what happened. Here's the exit, by the way. <laughs> I didn't miss an item. Uh, there was an item that I didn't have access to get before that I do now, so I'm going to go for that. I'm going to try to avoid as many of these guys as I can. Um, oh, there's nothing in there. Uh, actually, isn't this guy new? Oh, look at that. Completely avoided. I'm sure we'll find more of him inside, though. Aren't there? No, no, this guy outside is new, so let me go ahead and take him on. I don't have anything to blow up in his face, so I'm just going to take him on as is. Of course, we don't have Cosmos with okay. us, here we go. so this is going to be a little bit more difficult. We do have these drones here that I should be able to take out. This guy needs to die first. I do need to use both my attacks here, unfortunately. But down he does go. He's going to shock me. Not too bad. I'm not really properly leveled to, to come back in here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Shion has the ability to heal herself, and I have plenty of items, so I can always heal between battles. Oh, nice. Nice ducking there. Uh, this probably won't kill. Yeah, we're going to stop there. Dodge! Oh. Should be able to finish this guy off, though. Let's see, what does this do? Oh, this guy is weak to whatever that is. <laughs> Spell Ray, we haven't seen that yet. Don't ask me the science behind it, because I have no idea. She wrote something into the air, grabbed it, put it in her machine, and use that. That's what happened. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, this will give me the opportunity, though, to show off her ether a little bit. She does need to heal, so let's go ahead and use a little bit of her ether, Medica, on herself. I will eventually show that in battle. It does have a very nice an animation to it. Uh, I don't think I have enough to use tech points on anything no 112 we're getting close to 150 150 is what i am aiming for i'll explain why when we get it or whenever we get uh information about why i'm doing it whichever comes first let's take on this guy this guy is a reading really though way, or else. a couple medicas later and we're ready to head into here where we fought that boss battle but there's no boss this time, luckily. But now I can actually blow up this box, which has a treasure chest inside with a battle passport. I will take the battle passport, of course. Are they going to explain what the battle passport is? I have to go off of memory here. Use this at EVS points to play a mini game. I probably won't be using it, but it's there. It is there. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Exit the environmental simulator, EVS. Yes, I am done. That is all that I wanted in here. Now, if you did not go back in there and get that, I can't say that I would blame you too much. Here is another save point, should you want to use it. The game is relatively friendly with save points. You will have some stretches where th there won't be one for a while, but most of the time they're very nice. Basil? Basil? Whatever. W yeah, why are you so devoted to how Cosmos looks? That is a good question. Shouldn't, be, shouldn't we be working on her weaponry? No. She must seduce them while she kills them. That is why I made her. Whatever. Carol Haji? I'm going to say that says Haji. Oh no. To be honest, playing uh, the PlayStation 2 on an HD TV is kind of giving me some, some weird pixelation. So I'm having trouble reading every once in a while. Anything unusual happened? Apparently nobody saw the little girl except for me. 
There's no record in the log. Of course not. I uh, believe there were a couple more people that I wanted to talk to. Apparently there's somebody up here. Radar. Why do you play tricks with me? There's probably somebody over here, though. I remember somebody being up top. Where'd you go? Where'd that person... Apparently that person is gone. So let's just go ahead and leave. So we are done here. We got everything that we can for now. We don't know how to open that door just yet, but that, that'll be later. All right, see you later. Okay, good luck. Seriously, dude, you're making it obvious. <clears throat> well, back to work. Of course. Of course. And everybody's laughing at him. <laughs> it was kind of brief there, but you can kind of see him laughing. They all know. He doesn't hide it. Everybody knows, Alan. Everybody knows. Hey, what's up? How you doing, real world person? Wait, this is regulation? Uh, look at your skirt. How do you guys walk around with these skirts? I mean, I guess they got the leggings, but still. Are you going to present your report? Why does everybody know about my damn report? What's up, dude? What? When you have lost sight of the path, when you have become lost in life, seek information. Information will surely give you a glimmer of hope. He said in front of the map. Sure, <laughs> location. Corridor 1. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, that gives you more or less an idea of where we need to go. Um, yeah, you take the elevator up to get to the bridge, I think. I don't know why Xion's quarters are, are labeled that prominently. I don't know if it's because she touched the map and they go, this is where you live. But there it is. What do you want me to say? It's pretty damn obvious. Oh, I have an email. Yes, this game uses email. I didn't even want to spoil that. Because to me, this is kind of funny. Uh, this is... What is this one? Oh, this is just the sales pitch. Uh, topic search. Can I, can I hit that? Yeah, there we go. Right, we can add a plug-in. Uh, we'll see that in the menu later. That's That's all I got. Yeah, usually if you press square, you can cycle through all the, the important stuff, but... Um, okay, well, I believe all of this is going to be explained. Yeah, yeah, nothing that great here. This is a giant sales pitch about the new connection gear models announced uh, from Vector, but I believe that Xion already had most of these to start. And now, here's the money! So... Vector Communications finally announced their latest model of connection gear, the Rios. They sure did. Look at the bunny's eyes. Like, this bunny is weird. He's got, like, swirling black holes of eyes for eyes or spirals or something like that. But guess what? Guess what? I had the Rios 680RR model even before they made their official announcement. With my connection gear, I can get all sorts of information by establishing and maintaining an on-demand network with the UMN. Whatever the hell that is. Pretty much she's always wired already. And I guess that's what the connection gear is supposed to do. It's supposed to wire you. It's your iPhone, I guess you could say. It's both more and less complex and sophisticated at the same time. The UMN has two very important roles in this world governed by the Galaxy Federation government. One role is traffic infrastructure via leaps in space. As a result, even interstellar travel is made easy. Basically what the bunny is telling us... Never thought I'd say that. The bunny is telling us that the gateouts that we saw is due to the UMN. Once again, whatever that is. We don't really have much information about this UMN, but it seems very, very important. I see, and the other roles? Sh shouldn't Xion know this? The UMN is an information source that uses a large decentralized network system. It's Wikipedia. 
We employ ancient-like AI called procurators like yourself. So the bunny is a procurator. Whatever that is. <laughs> to navigate us around this giant network called the... Oh, God. Freaking Latin. Unus, Mun, Unus, Unus Mundus Network? I'm going to go with Unus Mundus Network, or UMN. I know it means one world. Like one... Yeah, that's the idea. One world network. Um, how you exactly pronounce it, I will probably never get right. That's right. Well, allow me to now to perform my duties as a procurator. I'll give you a little more information about emails because nobody knows about emails. God, are we really going to be using emails in like four or five hundred years or however long they said this was? New emails received will be displayed above old ones, which means the newest emails will always be displayed at the top of the list, just like any other email system. But be careful because the sorting order is different from the items list. Yes, items list, the new stuff's on the bottom. Emails, the new stuff's on the top. You have to be careful, I guess. Yeah, note that some emails request a reply. The last one didn't, it was a sales pitch. Most of those emails must be answered within a fixed amount of time, so it's best to reply as soon as possible. That is important. There are rewards for the email system. So I will be going through the email system. I'll try to explain as, as best as I can as we go along. You do have to reply, not in a certain amount of real time, but I, I guess you could say game time. You know, if Xion's not moving, it, the, the game time doesn't go forward as far as I, I remember. One more thing, you can skip to important parts of emails by pressing square, which is what I was trying to do, but it wouldn't really work for that first email. Uh, yes, we have received more tutorial emails about equipping both the mechs and our characters, thanks to the first R&D division, research and development, if, in case you didn't know. For, please refer to them if there's anything you don't understand. Got it! About the connection gear functions used during the encephalon test. I'm talking about the vaporizer plug-in. These functions allow the destruction of specific objects on the map. Yes, the awesome thing that we had that was destroying objects as we went along. I think it was awesome. It can actually be used if it clears the next simulation test? Wait, we're going to put that in the real world? I bet I'll get a perfect score on the test? And it's just a matter of time before someone gives you one of those vaporizer plug-ins? Now, I don't mean to be the safety police here, <laughs> but this plug-in, this vaporizer plug-in, absolutely destroys metal. I assume something that we destroyed was plastic. What kind of fail-safe do we have so that it won't destroy organic tissue? What's stopping me from using this on a person? You know what I mean? Are we sure we want this out in the public? Oh, by the way, don't you need to go see the captain? You're right, I better go to the bridge. Yeah, that's right. I don't know how the, the UMN system works, but uh, I assume like she's just like got, she flipped down a visor or something. She's just standing in the hallway with it over her face or something like that. We do have uh, three new emails. I will, I'm going to press, yeah, square, uh, uh, uh. okay, so, fine, we'll go back to the top. Strengthening your tech attacks, we went over that. Are they going to go over what? Here we go. Speed can be strengthened from low to high, that is what I am aiming for. Do they explain why? Do they not? Are they not? There we go. When it's high speed, you only need... God, where is the, where's the little thing? There it is. You only need one attack when the speed is high. So for instance, in this, both Lightning Blast and Spell Ray have a, a high speed. So Lightning Blast, you only need to hit square once, then you get close, and then you can go straight on to Lightning Blast. Uh, for Spell Ray, it will be Triangle and then Circle for Spell Ray, which means that you can do that every turn, which is what I'm saving for. That is awesome, and I love it. Focus on a single enemy. Don't die by healing yourself and save often, of course. Pretty standard RPG stuff. When it comes to equipping, this is also pretty pretty basic. You got four total equip slots, one for your weapon, three for accessories. Um, 
accessories come in... No, they don't really go over that. Okay, sub weapons, ammo, we can't... Okay, sub weapons are only used by people who can't get on the AGWS. Uh, so far, we only know Cosmos does that, but as you can see there, it says characters, which means we will be getting more characters throughout the game, one of which, at least, will not be able to board one of those mechs, and they'll have sub-weapons instead, just like Cosmos with her G-Shot, which is this... Well, it's a minigun. It's like three miniguns, technically. It's pretty awesome, but it does use ammo. I will use it, but I won't use it often. You can get three accessories, one body armor, one headgear, and then one other. Um, that's pretty much it for equipping characters. Pretty standard. Pretty standard. In terms of the mechs, things are a little different. You have five places where you can equip things, but you can only equip three at a time. So there's going to be at least, well, there's going to be two things that aren't equipped. Don't have anything there. It's just how it's going to work. So you can do right arm, left arm, shoulder, shoulders, and right alt. Uh, there are some weapons that require more than one slot, like double-handed weapons such as a long rifle or a big-ass sword, something like that. I don't remember which ones are, are two-handed, but we might find it. I'm, I'm probably not going to spend too much time with, with the max. I'm not. Like I said, eh. I much prefer the character battles. Just just like in Xenogears, I much prefer the character battles. Uh, ammo. Right, some things use ammo. Three locations where you can equip uh, accessories. Just, and so they will be different. So... Five locations for weapons, three for accessories. You can fully equip all the accessories you want. Three weapons can be equipped at once. And if it, oh, so if it does require two equip locations, like you can't have three things that take up two spots. You can only have three total spots filled. That's kind of the idea. Yeah, there are two broad types of a of weapons. Things that need ammo and things that don't. Yeah. That's pretty much it. That, that was overly explained, to be honest with you. And that is our first encounter with email. We will have more.